For centuries, we pictured space as a vast, unchanging stage, a silent, invisible box stretching infinitely in all directions. Objects moved, planets orbited and stars burned within this static, eternal backdrop. Isaac Newton championed this view space and time as absolute separate entities. Time in Newton's universe was a universal river flowing at the same rate everywhere, unaffected by motion or gravity. This framework let us predict planetary motions and build the foundations of classical physics. In daily life we trust that rooms don't warp as we walk, and that time ticks the same for everyone. The Newtonian universe was a grand deterministic machine, space and time as passive unchanging backgrounds. But this comfortable picture was incomplete. It treated space and time as rigid, separate and uninvolved in the cosmic story. The seeds of its undoing were already present. What if space and time weren't just the backdrop but part of the action? This separation would soon be challenged by a revolutionary new idea. The stage itself was about to become a dynamic, mysterious player in the universe. The silent backdrop was ready to take center stage. Reality, it turned out, was far stranger than Newton ever imagined. Enter Albert Einstein, who dared to question Newton's absolutes. Through thought experiments he realized space and time are not separate, they're woven together as space-time. Your motion through space affects your journey through time, the faster you move the slower your time flows relative to others. Time is not universal, it's relative. Imagine synchronizing watches with a friend if they travel near light speed and return, less time has passed for them than for you. This isn't a trick, it's a fundamental property of the universe time dilation. Einstein's general relativity took it further, massive objects curve space-time, and gravity is just matter following these curves. Picture a heavy ball on a rubber sheet, smaller objects move along the curves it creates. The Earth orbits the Sun not because of a pull, but because it follows the curved space-time around the Sun. The universe became a dynamic, flexible reality matter, tells space-time how to curve and space-time tells matter how to move. Space and time were no longer the background, they became the story itself. The absolute universe of Newton was replaced by Einstein's dynamic cosmos. The stage and the actors were now inseparable. Reality was more interconnected than anyone had dreamed. As Einstein redefined the cosmos, another revolution emerged. Quantum mechanics, the theory of the very small. Here, particles exist as clouds of probability, not certainty. Quantum rules are strange. Particles can be in multiple places at once, tunnel through barriers and have fuzzy properties. This probabilistic world clashes with the smooth certainty of relativity. Relativity predicts planetary orbits, quantum mechanics only gives odds. The universe seems to play by two sets of rules, one for the big, one for the small. When both gravity and quantum effects matter like inside black holes, our theories break down. This conflict hints at a deeper undiscovered theory uniting both realms. Perhaps even space-time itself isn't the final answer. Einstein's flexible space-time was long a mathematical idea, but could it be observed? General relativity predicted that violent cosmic events would send ripples, gravitational waves through space-time. Detecting them seemed impossible. 
the effect is smaller than an atomic nucleus. But with LIGO, scientists built instruments sensitive enough to catch these whispers. In 2015, LIGO detected the chirp of two black holes merging. A billion years ago. The signal matched Einstein's predictions perfectly. Space-time is not a static backdrop, it can be stretched, squeezed and made to ring. The universe's fabric is real, dynamic and alive. Einstein's vision was spectacularly confirmed. Gravitational waves confirmed Einstein's space-time but the clash with quantum mechanics remains. Some physicists now propose that space and time aren't fundamental at all. They're emergent like wetness from water molecules. Just as computation emerges from billions of silicon atoms, space-time might arise from countless quantum atoms of reality. Maybe quantum information is the true foundation, and space-time is a large-scale illusion. At the tiniest scales, the familiar fabric dissolves into a chaotic, pixelated quantum foam. Space and time could be collective behaviors, not basic ingredients. The geometry of space-time might be woven from quantum information itself. The frontier of physics is now exploring this radical idea. If space-time isn't fundamental, what is? Quantum entanglement may be the answer. Entangled particles are linked measure one, and you instantly know the other no matter the distance. This spooky action suggests a reality beyond ordinary space. Some physicists believe entanglement weaves the fabric of space itself. Imagine a network of quantum bits more entanglement means closer in emergent space. Space becomes a map of entanglement, not a pre-existing stage. Gravity, then, could be an emergent effect from quantum information. The quest is to translate entanglement into geometry. A new dictionary for reality. The universe may be built from information, not space and time. So do space and time really exist? It depends on what we mean by exist. They may not be fundamental, but they're real in our experience, like wetness or temperature. Space-time is our interface to a deeper information-based reality. Physics keeps peeling back layers, atoms, quarks, now perhaps quantum information. The journey has taken us from Newton's absolutes to Einstein's fabric and now to the possibility of space-time as an emergent illusion. Reality is a cosmic nesting doll, each layer revealing something deeper. The mystery of space and time is far from solved, but the questions are more profound than ever. Are we living in a hologram? Is entanglement the glue of the cosmos? The search for answers is one of humanity's greatest adventures.